It's taken most of the morning and into the afternoon, but I've finally gotten uh, all the floor stuff kind of cleaned up and i gotten all the staples out and now uh, Lindsay started taking all the cabinet doors off and we're kind of getting all that ready and then we're going to start sanding uh, and who knows maybe even start putting some primer down tonight. So I think we're making some good progress. Most RVs have a lot of cabinets and drawers, and ours is no exception. But I've gotten all of the cabinets out, uh, not all of the drawers, uh, but we have a ton. This is just like the screws and some of the hardware for the cabinet doors, and these are all of the handles for the cabinets and the drawers, and these are all of the cabinet doors. We are going to use a primer when we paint the cabinets and the walls, however we thought it might be a good idea to sand everything too, just to make sure that this paint is going to stick. So we don't want to have to go back and do it another time, so we're going to go ahead and sand everything top to bottom. It's a little afternoon and we just finished uh, sanding everything and we just vacuumed up the floors and picked up all of the uh, staples and you know stray pieces of uh, carpet and everything but now it's officially time to start prepping for paint so we're going to uh, tape everything off we got some of that done already but we're, we have to finish taping and then we have to wipe all of the painting surfaces off because they're still covered in dust so that's what we're doing now. primer we decided to go with. Um, you're supposed to be able to use it um, without even having to sand. Uh, we just decided to sand anyway just to be on the safe side. It's made by Valspar. So we are going to do the cabinets and the walls all with this primer. So yeah, I'm interested to see how it's going to work out. I think it will work just fine. Um, but yeah, we just don't know until you try it. So thick. It's very thick. That's probably good. Yeah. Originally, we wanted to get oil-based paint um, because we heard that it's really durable and it has like a really nice glossy finish and um, it holds up well to cleaning products and that sort of thing. However, we weren't able to find any uh, really, not ones that we'd want to use inside like on wood and on walls. Uh, they're kind of phasing that out. So instead, we opted to go for the latex water-based paint. Um, also, it should work just as well, um, especially we're, because of this primer that we're going to use. And then we got a semi-gloss uh, paint also. So that should help uh, make the surface really smooth and um, able for us to clean it well. And it should be pretty durable as well. So I hope that it holds up. Um, we have heard good things about it, so shouldn't have any problems. But we also got uh, some of these spongy brushes. And all of our rollers are kind of a sponge material. Uh, so it, you can really smooth out uh, your brush strokes and uh, make it look a little bit more professional.
found something a little bit interesting. It's not ours, and it's a fork. Sticking out like in this drawer. Like it must have fallen behind the drawer or something. Oh, and it got stuck wedged back there. So, hey, that's pretty cool. All right, so here's a little bit of an update. We got a lot accomplished today. We're pretty much completely done priming um, everything inside the RV. We still have to do the uh, outside of the cabinet doors and the drawers. But other than that, we've got the inside of the RV pretty much all done. Um, we've got a couple more spots to touch up that we'll probably finish tonight or tomorrow morning. But other than that, we're moving right along. It's awesome. Yeah, it's a lot brighter. And if we put LEDs in here, it'd be super bright. All right, so that about wraps it up for uh, tonight. If you want to see more um, about our renovation, how we're doing it, um, what materials we're using, all that good stuff, subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment, and give this video a thumbs up.